When President Theodoro Umbasogo stepped down from his plane at the presidential wing of the Enamde Azikiwe International Airport, he was welcomed by the FCT minister, Malam Mohamed Musa Bello, and his foreign affairs counterpart. After inspecting the guard of honor mounted for him, he departed the airport for the presidential villa. Upon arrival at the state house, the Piper's band of the guard's brigade ushered him into the forecourt. After welcoming his guest, President Muhammadu Buhari introduced him to his team of ministers and aide before entering into a closed-door meeting. When the meeting ended, they came out to address the press. Speaking in Spanish through an interpreter, President Umbasogo says Nigeria needs to do more to secure the Gulf of Guinea. Respectivos estados, sino también a la... We, Equatorial Guinea, as also members of the Gulf of Guinea, we feel very much concerned, together with the Cameroons and Nigeria, that being a party, a single party in this particular uh, Gulf, we all have to put hands on deck as to ensure that security and stability is established in that particular region. He condemned armed conflicts across Africa, saying dialogue must be employed to solve all problems. Nigeria is a país potente. They should sit down together, the parties concerned, the territories concerned, and all those who are parties to that particular problem, and find a solution through dialogue. It is only through dialogue that we'll be able to see what is beneficial to all concerned and arrive at a common solution. The Equatorian Guinea leader also commended President Muhammadu Buhari for successes recorded in the fight against the Boko Haram insurgent. The appeal for Nigeria to do more in fighting crude oil theft, piracy and other deadly crimes in the Gulf of Guinea is obviously getting louder by the day. But with most neighbors folding their arms and watching, the question security experts will be asking is, how far can Nigeria go? From the Asurok Presidential Villa, Amikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.